Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here with another bit by bit on Botania. Today we're going to be covering the pure daisy and how to make a simple pre-Elfheim automated setup. Alright, so you'll only need a few items. It's not too bad to make, probably the worst thing to make is going to be the uh, bore lenses, but you'll need uh, three of these uh, pulse mana spreaders. Uh, you'll also need a couple of pure daisies, uh, some kind of block to put down underneath. You'll, uh, in this case I chose just birch planks. You'll need uh, a random carpus and I have that same block that is around here underneath the random carpus by a couple blocks. You'll also need like a, a pressure plate, a whole bunch of redstone, some open crates, uh, couple of uh, hoppers and I have these in frames just for demonstration purposes well, let me straighten that around there we go uh, so that you know what I'm putting into those um, then I've got a hopper hawk here so that it can pick up the uh, end contents of uh, what we're gonna have set up so the idea is that uh, with a couple of these uh, mana distributors actually I've got three in place one here with the incoming mana that spreads it into these two and then uh, I also have a couple down here uh, hooked up to a regular mana pool and uh, with these pulse mana spreaders essentially they're all hooked up to the same one of these uh, hovering hourglasses which I'm going to be filling shortly now with this in mind when this thing cycles it will send a pulse around to all three of the uh, pulse mana spreaders which will then, with these bore lenses on them, uh, harvest all the rock. Now, if you have a pure daisy just on the grass or ground or whatever, and not actually a flying one, you should be fine. Bore lenses will pass right through uh, the uh, regular plants, but if it's a floating flower, it will actually harvest it because that counts as some kind of block. So keep that uh, in mind when you're creating this. This is a simple method for pre- Alfheim portal uh, and uh, make sure that your redstone from the uh, uh, hourglass here does not interfere with the setup for a pressure plate. Uh, essentially this is just a simple method so that as uh, blocks are dropped I have one for stone and one for wood so two drop at a time. Uh, if you do only one of these you might not end up having enough time to actually have these all harvested so I'm gonna show you I have two soul sand which you can you'll put in here each soul sand will represent I believe one minute so you put it in there and that's about 120 seconds you could do uh, some of the um, uh, what do you call it the red sand here you could do like about 10 or 11 of those and that would probably be a little bit quicker but I found that it's just simpler and uh, more reliable for two soul sands so that you can get it uh, done quickly and easily without much effort because who knows how long you'll have to travel before you find red sand but anyway uh, actually you could actually convert things into red sand but moving on uh, so let's put some of these in here now I'm going to put in a bunch of logs into this chest and a bunch of stone into this chest which they will instantly start dropping and the Ranon Carpus, which is not hooked up to anything, I should mention. Uh, if you look, it is showing that there is a mana pool to the right of it. What I did is I placed a mana pool, and then I hooked it up with a shift right click onto that mana pool so that it would not use any mana, and it will still place blocks. So it will place blocks on birch, uh, birch blocks, or birch planks, rather and those blocks are going to be the wood logs and the stone and this will get you as much uh, living wood and living rock as you want uh, or as you feed it in there and provided that your mana pools at both end are not so full that they will not transmit to each other but that shouldn't be too much of a problem I only have these about maybe a quarter full for now so you'll probably want to take your mana tablet and fill these up a little bit just to start with so that you've got something in there uh, but there you go. Um, oh, the hopper, the hopper hawk, I should say. I also ended up uh, doing the same thing. I put a mana pool here. I then connected it to the mana pool and eliminated the mana pool. You can just harvest it and use the same one, whatever. And therefore, it won't use any mana either. So there's no mana actually being used except for the loss between the uh, 
with the bore lenses. So you'll want to probably have a little bit of mana coming into this setup, which I currently do right there. It's not a lot of mana, it's just a little bit so that it'll make sure that it doesn't end up running out. And if I ever end up getting too much in these pools, I can always use my tablet and drain it back out again, which would probably be quite some time. But anyway, let's put some of this stuff in here and we'll get going. Let me get rid of some of these items that I accidentally grabbed here. And we're going to need a stack of stone and a stack of oak. Now, if you've already watched some of my previous videos, you can see that you've got a tree farm going on here and you can actually steal some of the oak from that if you like. Or you can make your own tree farm setup, or you can just manually feed it like I'm about to do here, which is just, I need a stack. Uh, you can just set it and forget it. So I'm gonna toss these in here and toss these in here. And you can see they will instantly start dropping. Uh, give it a second for the stone to come down. It has to go through the hopper first. And then the Rannencarpus will start placing these. Now you don't want to block the random carpus uh, from the sky. I did so by accident to start with, and it ended up uh, not planting these. This is the most recent version of Botania, which I believe is uh, 247, so keep that in mind. And it is currently dropping all these items, and they are being harvested. I'm going to put in some soul sand, and that will count down for two minutes, which is going to be quite a while, so I'm probably going to speed this up a bit, and you'll see once it's done. And you can see it's about to actually flip, which it will activate, and everything should end up harvesting. Then the hopper hawk collects it all, and these blocks are being dropped again from the other hoppers and replaced. It's that simple. It's not too bad of a setup, just a few flowers, one random carpus, one hopper hawk, a couple of pure daisies, uh, you got yourself a few crates, some pulse uh, spreaders, and like I said, probably the most difficult thing to make is going to be uh, three of the bore lenses. Now you can do this much simpler with um, the uh, uh, after Alfheim, so you can actually have things bouncing around, but I just want to make things uh, more entry level, uh, pre Alfheim. I do find those builds to be a lot more challenging and a little more interesting, uh, especially if you can make it a little more compact. So uh, just so that you can see a little bit more of the setup, I'll do one quick little cycle here, and that'll be about it. So, hope everybody enjoyed the video today. If so, please give a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Let others know, and until next time, see ya.